what does it mean when a customer comes into your office and they offer you less than you are asking for your F&I products? For example, a customer comes into your office, you present your menu, they say, wow, that vehicle service contract does seem like a you know, pretty decent option, but I got to be honest, I think the true value of it is more around $1,500 than the $2,000 that you're asking. So I'll tell you what, I'll take the vehicle service contract, but you have to do it for, for $1,500. What is the customer telling you? When I ask a lot of F&I managers, they tell me, well, the customer's telling you that the vehicle service contract is only worth $1,500. Eh, nope, that's not what the customer's telling you. What the customer's actually telling you is the vehicle service contract is worth three to $4,000. Why is that? Let's talk about that for a minute. We all like good deals. When we get a good deal on a car or an appliance or a mattress, we brag about it. We're like, you, get, you can't believe this deal I got. No one ever says, I was getting screwed off the entire time. I knew it and I still did it. No one says that. We all have good deals, okay? And in general, people spend their money on things, their dollars on things that bring them more benefit than those dollars can get them otherwise. For example, when you go to an amusement park and you pay $30 at the admissions gate to get in, you are not expecting to get $30 worth of fun and then armed security guards pick you up and toss you out the door. No, you're expecting when you pay that $30 to get $100 or more worth of fun. You are expecting to three times that investment and have a fun-filled day that's worth a lot of money. In general, when people spend their money, they want more benefit from the experience they're buying than the actual money they spent. Let's bring that back to the F&I office. How does that relate? Well, the customer is basically telling you, I want even more benefit. I see a lot of value in this. I see three, four, five thousand dollars worth of value in this. But instead of spending two thousand dollars to get a two hundred percent return, I want to spend fifteen hundred dollars to get a three hundred percent return. Okay? I want even more of a return on my dollars because I expect to get a good deal. So how and what, in which ways can you counteract that? Well. Here's, there's a few, but one could be, you know, Mr. Johnson, I completely understand what you're saying. You want a good deal. I love good deals too. And if I were in your position, I probably would be making the same offer. But being in my position, Mr. Johnson, I can tell you, I see customers every day, repeat customers who come back and they tell me how valuable that vehicle service contract was, how they spent $2,000 on it and they got six, seven, eight thousand $8,000 worth of value out of it, how they had a blown en engine, it would have cost five grand to fix, but the vehicle service contract stepped in and paid it for them, how they had a blown transmission, it would have been $3,500 to fix, how the vehicle service contract stepped in and paid it for them, how they had bad window regulators and a bad DVD player, it would have been $2,500 to fix, but the uh, vehicle service contract stepped in and paid it for them. Mr. Johnson, they also tell me about how they were stuck on the side of the road. They did not have AAA, but the vehicle service contract, they have roadside assistance. They came and picked them up. They towed it to the nearest uh, repair shop. They fixed it. They got a rental car out of it. They got way more value, Mr. Johnson, out of that vehicle service contract than they ever believed. So I got to tell you, Mr. Johnson, that $2,000 is a very fair price. Don't you agree? Yes, fantastic. Mr. Johnson, if you sign right there, I'm going to go ahead and get your paperwork ready. You'll be out of this dealership within five minutes driving your brand new car. It can be as simple as that. Attack the objection head on by talking about all the people in the past who did purchase the vehicle service contract and got great value out of it. Either way, I want you to know this. When someone offers you less for your vehicle service contract, for your tire and wheel, for your exterior and interior paint protection, when someone offers you less, they are not telling you it is worth less. They are telling you they see the value. They see the value, but they want to extend their dollar further. They want a good deal. As soon as they tell you they'll offer you less, you know they are interested. You know they see the value in that product. It's up to you to figure out a way for that particular person to close them. My personal way is what I just told you. Talk about all the people before them who have come back and spoke about the fantastic deal that they got by paying the $2,000. Those people who came back, Mr. Johnson, they said they would have paid three grand looking back. It's worth that good of a deal. And at that point, the customer may say, wow, this is a good deal. And they may still go home to their friends and family and say, I got a great deal on a vehicle service contract. This thing will bring me seven, $8,000 worth of value possibly, and I only paid two grand for it. It's all about changing the mindset. We hope you learned something from this lesson. Go ahead and click next lesson. Let's continue the course.